Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. The video today will demonstrate the steps to install the Avaya or Agile Communication Environment ACE vApp using the VMware vSphere client and the vCenter server into a VMware virtualized environment. The video you are viewing will demonstrate the steps to install the Avaya Aura Agile Communication Environment ACE vApp into a VMware hypervisor. The steps demonstrated will be performed using the vSphere client and the vCenter to perform the administration. The OVF wizard will be used to install the ACE OVA file. That wizard will perform the provisioning of the network storage, defining the network interfaces to be used, and the management of the install. After the install completes, the vApp will be ready to be provisioned and ACE APIs will be available to the Avaya Aura applications. I have opened the vSphere client and have logged into the vCenter server, which allows for administration of all the hypervisors controlled by this vCenter. The first step is to select a hypervisor. The hypervisor I have selected will be where the virtual machine will be installed. It is indicated on the left. The next step is to select the file menu and the choice of Deploy OVF Template. The Deploy OVF wizard opens and the first entry is where the Agile Communication Environment OVA file is located. I am pasting in the HTTP link to the OVA file for the install. I have pressed the Next button to advance to the next screen. The details of the OVA file are displayed. Pressing the Next button advances to the license agreement. The license agreement is displayed. Press Accept and Next to advance to the naming of the virtual machine. I have given the virtual machine a unique name and press Next to select the storage configuration. We will use a network attached storage. I have selected the NAS unit and press the Next button which provides a view of the available storage. Pressing Next advances to the selecting of the network interface to be used. The ACE install requires a single interface to be set in this release. I am setting that interface and have pressed Next to advance to the summary screen. This screen summarizes the previous input. Validate the configuration. If all is correct, you would push Finish. You can use the Back button to adjust or to make changes as desired. I have pushed the Finish button which opens a status dialog to indicate the install progress. I will return after the install completes. The OVA install has completed successfully, and I am closing the completion dialog. The next step is to start the virtual machine. I am doing that by selecting the newly installed virtual machine shown on the left. Right clicking on the virtual machine allows me to select Power and Power On. Then opening the console tab, we can start to watch the machine boot. As the machine is booting, I will be asked to provision the IP addressing information required for this virtual machine. The boot process identifies that the Ethernet Zero port does not have the IP networking parameters defined and requests the following. I am entering the ACE fully qualified domain name the ACE IP address, its netmask, the default gateway on this network segment, the WebLM server that ACE uses for licensing, the primary and secondary DNS servers IP addresses, 
Finally, I have entered yes to the summary of the values I input. The IP interface values are provisioned and the balance of the boot operation is completed. I can now log in to the ACE virtual machine. That concludes the actual OVA install. The next steps in the process are to provision the Agile Communication Environments virtual machine. Please refer to the published white papers for the additional steps to connect to Avaya Aura and all of its components. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.